let us kick off. Uh, we're going to start, obviously, with the Premier League. Um, starting with Bournemouth versus Man City. This is a very popular match. The only person who is not betting this is Stuart. Yeah. Why, why, why not, Stuart? Um, there's not a crazy enough bet for me to go on this one, so I'm staying out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, Alex, go on, kick us off. What's the best bet for that match? Actually, this is my banker for uh, for the weekend. We started uh, really good strong. with the banker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that uh, Manchester City, if uh, they want to be one of the, they want to be the contenders uh, for the title in the Premier League. Uh, every match should be a must-win for them, and they should bounce back after uh, the, um, the draw match with uh, Everton from uh, last round, and should uh, really win this match in style. So uh, they have the power, they have a great attacking firepower, they have huge players, they have a really good coach. I think that uh, they will do a really good job this year. Uh, Bournemouth, uh, they didn't impress me in the first two rounds. So I'm going with Manchester City minus 1.5 at 1.92. Yeah, yeah. If anybody caught the uh, Premier League uh, punter show as well, that was the popular bet for that match, I have to say. Uh, Martin, I know you also were on there as well. What have you got? Are you sticking with your Man City minus 1.5? I uh, certainly am. That is exactly my bet as well. Yes, I think... Um, Bournemouth just play open, expansive football and they don't sit back and defend doggedly, which is generally what you need to do to get a result against Man City. Bournemouth are the sort of team that likes to come out and attack and it's resulted in them getting thrashed by Man City recently. They've lost 2-0, 4-0, 4-0 and 5-1 in the four games since being promoted. So I think we're going to see another game like that. Um, so yeah, minus 1.5 for me as well. Yeah, full house guys, Man City minus 1.5. Uh, okay, next match we've got is uh, Crystal Palace versus Swansea. Interesting, Stuart, one of your only, you've been low on the uh, on the bets this week. You've, you've kept it low, but uh, what are you going for? Crystal Palace, Swansea. Well, last week I thought I'd uh, stick a few extra ones in there that my system hadn't picked out and I thought were good. And uh, unbelievably, they were the lowest odds ones and those were the ones that didn't win. So my 1.8 on Athletic Bill Bow to win in the second half that was nuts, and and it didn't win against ten men. What can you say? I know. So I'm I know. sticking. I'm sticking to just my system bets this week, and I'm keeping it short and sweet. And uh, Swansea to win this one at odds of four point four one with Pinnacle. Yeah, going in big, going in strong yeah. right from the start. Wow, that you is You know what, strong. Natalie? You know what? I, I was uh, I prepared all my tips uh, from uh, yesterday's uh, Premier League Panthers. Yeah, but uh, my wife uh, said, uh, "Let's go to the doctor. Let's go to the hospital." So I couldn't make it on the show. <laughs> I have all, all those uh, written here. And uh, okay, it's not uh, from the best best tips, but uh, if uh, if uh, I I I one hundred percent agree with Stuart. But I was going more uh, conservative. I was going Swansea plus zero point five at one point nine six. Okay, yeah, that's that's not a bad way to play. I've got a feeling a big man may be on Crystal Palace there. So you've got a head-to-head. -head. Uh, I think big man is watching. Shout out there. <laughs> Are you going for Crystal Palace? And if so, why? If my memory serves me correct. Yeah, big, man, big man was on Crystal Palace. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't rate Swansea very much. So you guys, Swansea yeah. on the road, you're confident. I like the way Alex has played it. Stuart, <laughs> obviously. But listen, he, I, <laughs> I can't Flash argue with his profits. So, uh, you know. Was the big one's won last week. <laughs> It's very true. Okay, Watford uh, versus Brighton. This is one of my big bets of the weekend, actually, just a straight Watford win. Um, I, it's it's more as well, I think, you know, Watford at home, you get that 1.91. Um, it's more so uh, Brighton relegation candidates, lost both matches, failed to score, uh, conceded four. Um, I, I, it's more that I don't rate Brighton and Watford at home. I think they've got this one, and I just think incredible odds there, 1.91. So there you go. Um, I think Brighton are. I think the Brighton are getting ready for Championship football next season. It's a case of strengthening <laughs> their team now. Strengthening their team now and be stronger next year, and that's the yeah. way it's going to go. I, I think that one point nine one. Watford win all the way, but odds make nine one me. for a for a home win. Huge, huge. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. The way to go, Natalia. You, you guys didn't want to add that one to the bet. You were just saving saving all the glory for me for that one. Yeah, absolutely. But I agree. No, I had it on my. Premier League. No, please. I've got. I would have gone with it, but I've already got too many. I'm going to keep you talking for ages today. So I <laughs> Martin, you are a busy man today. You're I'm, going to be I'm really tonight. busy. Yeah, I'm, no, going, no. I'm going to keep it really <laughs> short and sweet, though. Really. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Manchester United versus Leicester. Uh, Alex, what have you got? 
Manchester United versus Leicester. Okay, I think that um, I think that this is the uh, the hardest opponent uh, for uh, Manchester United from the start of the season. Uh, Swansea and uh, West Ham were not uh, were easy po- opponents for them. Leicester have uh, firepower; uh, they are defending uh, so and so. But uh, in the attack, they have Vardy, that is 100% fit. Uh, he had some uh, little issues in the in, in the last round, but he's uh, back to training with the team. Uh, I still believe that Manchester United are uh, the top team, uh, uh, even if Stewart says that uh, wait uh, for the big sharks uh, to arrive uh, to play them. You know, but I think that Manchester United will win the title in uh, Premier League this year. They might do a really good job also in uh, Champions League, uh, but it will be really tough uh, from the first year. Um, so I think that Manchester United and the over 2.5 goals, because I think that we, we it's. We have a really good match here for a, for a goal fest, you know. It's big opportunity to, opportunity to see a goal fest. Manchester United and over 2.5 goals at 1.92. Yeah, I like goals in that match as well. Um, okay, next we have got uh, Liverpool versus Arsenal. Love, love, love this match. Uh, Martin, what have you got? A bit nervous as an Arsenal fan, by the way. (laughs) Liverpool have been attacking recently. They're looking phenomenal going forwards. But just like Arsenal, they're also very, very leaky at the back. Arsenal can always score goals, but bad in defence as well. So I'm just going for a straight Alex Classic. Both teams to score over 2.5 goals, 1.87. Yeah, joining you, Martin, on that one as well. If there is a time to play the Alex Classic, this is it uh, over to five goals both teams to score uh, both have uh, been on form scoring but also conceding and uh, i think this is probably going to be the most exciting match of the weekend um so yeah same both teams score over two or five goals tottenham versus burnley now i know what you're going to go for this one martin and you convinced me with your argument um on the premier Thank league you. show so i'm going to take it as well because you took it as your banker and it's tottenham to win to nil it is, is, that, is, that, is that the one you're going for i'll take that <laughs> yeah, it, certainly is. it certainly is. I'm convinced that Tottenham are just so, so strong defensively. Just love out of Vireld and Vertonghen, phenomenal defensive partnership. And they're very solid in the centre of the park as well. They have a bit of a hoodoo at Wembley, which they need to get over and try to show everyone, their fans, that they're a team that can grind out results at Wembley, just like they did at White Hart Lane. And I think this is the perfect game in which they can do so against the a Burnley attack that they probably can stifle for large parts of the game. So I think they'll grind out a 1-0, 2-0 win, something like that here. Yeah, yeah. Um, Also, big man as well, said Joe, just going back to the Liverpool Arsenal, he goes both teams to score and the over 2.5 goals is his banker as well. And then I did ask him the question about Swansea and you know, big man, uh, he says it how it is. And uh, he was like, yep, uh, Swansea is dog shit. So there we go. <laughs> There's no that means, sounds a lot better. No right now. His words with big man. On a, a diplomatic mission to Wales. <laughs> We're sending a big man to bring up the Welsh American relations to an all time life. <laughs> Swansea, you're dog shit. Straight up, I'm going. I'm going to Wales next month. I've got to be nice. So, <laughs> well, listen. With those odds, let's let's wait and see. That's the great thing about uh, that's the great thing about football. Um, okay, I think that is wraps wraps Premier League up. Yes, it does.